What is up, YouTube? We are back with a new deck profile. I deleted all my videos. I'm sorry about that because the Copa situation had my channel worried. I think we're going to be fine. So we're going to slowly get back into it. So <clears throat> this is the updated hero deck profile. Uh, Heroes got new support in the last couple months. And luckily I got my hands on them. So let's get into it. So to start, three Stratoses. Stratos searches out any monster in the deck, basically. Uh, two Shadow Mist, search out Mass Change, I'll search out a hero. When it's such as a graveyard, you can only use the effect, uh, either effect once per turn. One Solid, one Liquid, and one Honestly Knows to wrap out the Elemental Hero section of the deck. Um, simply uh, Attack Boost. I want to try. I want to start out with Solid, so usually just to build out my monster board before I go into my plays. Uh, Liquid is the brand new hero to the deck. If you don't know what Liquid does, when it is normal summoned, you can special summon a level four or lower. I believe the text is uh, level four or lower hero hero from the graveyard. Um, <clears throat> when it's used as fusion material, and sent, when sent to the graveyard or is banished as fusion material, you draw two cards. This card one. It is it's, it is dumb. So because of this card, we play um, two of the classic hero fusions, which I'll get to you in a little bit later. Uh, three fairs, two increase, and two buy on the standard ratios for this that we've been playing since uh, July when the vision heroes, when the increase and fairs came out. Nothing important there really. Uh, buy on is a little more important because you can send basically any monster from the stack. Banish it for a poly, which poly, again, becomes super important for the deck because of liquid. And, of course, solid also gets effects. Uh, for the Destiny Hero portion, three malicious because Mally's at three. Uh, one Celeste, one Dantec, and one uh, Plasma. The standard Destiny Hero ratio. Celeste is important for the uh, Fusion Destiny effect. Fusion Destiny into Dystopia, seeing a burn for 1600. Thus, in a game three scenario, can get you a lead. Or any time of the game. Gives you that 1600 lead, which makes it a lot more easier to OTK. Uh, Mally is an easy material for Link Summons and Fusion Summons. Plasma is a walking skill drain. Uh, I have an Adjuster Gold. So, the evil here, we play the evil heroes. Um, Bane is busted. Sadly, here in America, we got we got completely screwed on the um, cases. They were like one per case. Thus, the prices on this are super high. If you're in Europe, get them there. Or if you have friends in Europe, we're gonna, it's, you have to do like international uh, wheeling and dealing to get this. Um, I do play a hand trap. I play three ash um, just for because I have the space for it. I'm not playing super poly in the main deck right now. Um, thinking about side decking it. The format just started, so we are working out the kinks as we go. So three ash, three ash. If you don't know what ash does by now, ash is a very important hand trap. Uh, three mass change to make the mass heroes. We play four of them, I believe. Uh, and for like the last of the one offs for the fusion for the fusion summons, a miracle fusion, a polymerization, dark calling, and a hero lives. Uh, miracle fusion, we search off elemental hero. Can't remember what she's name to sunrise. Uh, polymerization, we get that from Vion. Dark calling, we search that off the adjusted gold. Hero lives is a hero lives. Been playing it forever. Mass change is mass change. Basically, most of that can be searched out by one card or another. Um, next is Fusion Destiny. Uh, use it to summon the uh, Destiny Hero in Dystopia. That is the only target I'm playing at this moment. Um, I know some people are try might cut this. I still like it because closer to the end of my plays for the turn, I would like to use Fusion Destiny to bring out Dystopia to burn through 1600. Uh, make my graveyard a little more full for the uh, Dread Dominator's effect to boost by 100. Uh, two we call search out Stratos, Solid, Liquid, or Asinos. And lastly, I play three call by the graves because I don't want to be hand traps. Um, like I said, if you have impermanences, you can play those over Ash. Called by, I think, is a little more important for the stack because of the hand trap situation that we are in. So, for the extra deck, uh, I play two crosses. Standard, basically. You can play one, I guess. Uh, one Wonder Driver and one Dread Dominator. Um, Wonder Driver is super important for a set because now you can start out a place and make uh, Dark Law right below it to reset the mass change. 
Then later on during the turn, you make absolute zero. Thus, you have a absolute zero acid ready to go for your opponent's turn. Uh, Dread Dominator is again. You ba I basically on a single turn, I can go through all three, uh, the three of these. Uh, Dread simply boosts stats, which this deck has a lot of math involving because it does nothing because of how much stats get boosted. Uh, two Dark Claw, Dark Claw is Dark Claw, and Anki. Um, thinking about cutting it, not too sure, not too sure yet. Uh, Blast deals with Floodgates, is also super poly target for Shadows. Uh, Mass Hero Acid for the Absolute Zero. Uh, one Absolute Zero to make into the Acid, and also use with New Creature or Poly to summon him by using the Liquid. Uh, the new card of the deck, uh, Elemental Hero Sunrise. Uh, if you don't know what this does, when he is used two hero monsters with different attributes, easy in this deck. Um, fusion monsters I control, uh, monsters you control gain 200 attack for each different attribute you control. So at most, so you're gaining an easy plus 600 because of Sunrise's respect of doing that. Um, if he is special summoned, you can add one Miracle Fusion from your deck to your hand. So when you summon him, you use Nurk Fusion. If you use Solid and Liquid to make him, you have a chain link of three. You'd probably go, you'd go Sunrise, uh, chain three, Solid chain, uh, Liquid chain two, and Solid chain one, Revive Stratos if you can. That way Stratos does not miss timing. Uh, I still play an Adoration. You can cut this for Dangerous, uh, Destiny or Dangerous, I think. Um, I'm still testing this out. Uh, Trinity is Trinity, another OTK route. Um, one evil hero, malicious bane, because again we were playing the destiny, we we're playing the evil heroes. Um, a walking regeki that can't be targeted or uh, can't be destroyed by Carfax. And lastly, the lone dystopia for the burn sixteen, also a pop on the field. So that's it for this deck. Um, I'm getting back into making, I mean, getting back into making videos. This is the first one, so hopefully I can remember now to bring my tripod in that, so I can record at my locals. Um, with this format, and now we don't have to worry about so much of Orcust and Sky Striker and Thunder Dragon. This format is looking uh, better for decks like Heroes. Then with the new Master Rule coming in April, uh, that has me excited for this deck because we don't are we are not so reliant on the um, Link summons. While this deck, even though we can get away with it, it's still a fun deck. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been my Hero deck file. Also. Uh, I'm glad to be coming back into YouTube. So I want to see you guys in the next video. I don't know what that's going to be. Um, hopefully I can get some matches going to locals and show off what this deck can do. Maybe I'll do a combo video. So yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you guys next time.